Hello and welcome everyone to the Sundered Monarch No Heal Skill and In-Depth Boss Guide. If you are looking for the location of this boss, please check out my previous location guide in the playlist in the description. For more game guides and Souls-like content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I will show you the no heal skill first, followed by the gear and then the in-depth boss guide. The boss guide would have the explanation of all his moves, even the ones I did not encounter in this skill attempt. Here are my stats and gear. And now for the detailed guide. In phase 1 of the fight, the boss will be crying in the corner and when you attack, he can either cause shockwaves or try to shove you away. Dodge for the shove when you see the hand coming towards you. You can either outrange the shockwave or dodge them 4 times. The first combo you should be careful of is a front hand and a back hand swipe. When the spikes go out of his hands, that's when you need to get ready to dodge. Next is when he would take out the knives from his back and throw at you. Dodge towards the boss to avoid them. 
Another move is when he can jump slam at you. Wait for him to start coming down before dodging. This can be with one or two hands. If he is at medium distance, he can do a delayed hand slam at you. Watch his hand come down before dodging. He can also do that single hand slam while back jumping. Coming to the phase transition, in the attempts I practiced, he would sometimes transition at 50% and sometimes lower if I kept attacking. You get an opening to get a range attack and be ready to dodge the shockwave when he lands. His slam attacks are similar in phase 2 but there are always fire knives falling at the area of impact so always dodge away. If he spreads his hands apart and then lowers his head, he is going to fall down knives and melee so move away. If he leaves his weapon and raises his hand, he is going to call down knives at you so keep moving to avoid them. He may come in with a slam or throw knives at you so be ready to dodge. If he stands on his feet, he can do a very quick knife drop so just try to be aware of his next move. If he starts rotating his hand, he is going to drop knives in mid range. You need to dodge the push back he does when he drops or you get pushed into the knives. He may also do a charged attack. Trick is to dodge towards your right and keep moving because the path will have knives drop on it. And that's it. For more game guides and souls like content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.